are back at Crinoid Creek. It's a beautiful day. Wasn't gonna record, but I just wanted to show you. We found just went up creek. There's a little offshoot. I mean, look at this. It's the whole thing is just littered in little segments. And uh, up the bank. Oh wow, look at that one. I'm gonna grab that one here in a minute. Let's get it now. Let's get it now. Look at that guy. Huh? Pretty cool, huh? Um, but up the bank here. There's a down tree, clods on the other side, and it's the same thing. It's just covered in all these stems. So we're just going to pick them up because we like them. Look at that. They're everywhere. All right. We'll see you in a bit. It's just loaded with them. So there's this down tree. They're in the bank over here. They're in the bank. They're in the dirt. So this is just in the roots of this down tree. This stuff's it's just interesting because now the question Look look at that. Look, it's just in the mud on this tree. Right here. Right here. <laughs> right here. And he's got something. Let's go see. This one was just stuck inside the tree roots. We won't take it. It's kind of heavy and we've got better, but it's still really cool. Find any sizable one? Uh, nothing bigger than that one I showed you. There's one just sitting on a twig. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I found this. Uh, there's one right there. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. No big ones. I guess you put them there? Yeah. Right. I don't want any big matrix this time unless it is like 40 of those. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. It's like, it's cool, but it's not anything cooler than what we've already found. So it stays. Oh, oh, oh. Go. Ah, I saw it, but I just knocked it down, I think. All right, move it on. Over the water. There it is. Look at this. I gotcha. And it's just, this is the old ocean bed and it's just covered in them. Pretty cool.
I'm not sure. I really don't want to show you. Just pieces, just yeah. little tiny stuff. Yeah. I don't want to deal with it. All right, we're moving on. But I thought it was pretty we cool. We got a lot of ground to cover yet. Yep. Moving on, guys. I get it. Can hold that, please. No, that one. This one. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. All right, I'm gonna try. You know what? I gotta get a shot of this while I'm here. See this guy? Look at this guy. I mean, he's incredible. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Put that in the light. Kind of cool. I think I'll leave them though, but pretty. Weird stuff. Looks like it's drying up.
Good stage. Just a jig. Standard guy. Take him, he's cute. I think it's just one of those uh, crinoid heads, isn't it? Yeah, it's a shame the point's broken. That's neat, though. Big stem on him. Yeah, he's cool. But he's staying too heavy to... It's not. Try to save him. He's pretty. He's not spectacular. Huh? He's not spectacular. No, he's not. Alright. Sorry, dude. It's okay. <laughs>
machine made. Ah. But bottle, about 1910. Hold it back right there. Huh? What's that? No, go forward. Right there? Yeah, I'll get him. Yeah, there. That's pretty cool, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's really neat. Yeah. You know what we didn't do? What's that? Look. We didn't look in the roots. Did you just pull that big old geode out of those out of that tree root? Up, but that's uh, it's part of the ground, so it's gonna stay there. But that was neat. Well, that about does it. Found some neat stuff, and uh, we're gonna head back. We'll clean it up and show you guys what we found. Beautiful day. Hey, gang! It's time for the wrap up. Um, excuse my voice. Uh, both of us have colds right now. Yay. Uh, the crazy weather has brought on all sickness to everybody, I'm sure. So uh, here we go. We've had 60 degree weather uh, patterns the last three or four days. Um, crazy. We're now going into the 50s for next week, but it's supposed to rain. Anyway, that's the weather forecast. So here we go. So this wrap up today, I'm going to try to run through as fast as I can. I apologize. A lot of great stuff. A uh, few pieces go back to the uh, trip we did a, a while back that we filmed, and that'll eventually get up as well. So these are pieces that I like from, from here to here. These are pieces that I like, but I don't 
necessarily love. And that's always hard to do because at first when you find them, you get all excited. So anyway, you can see <clears throat> crinoid matrices and um, uh, heads, you know, um, or coral pieces. I'm not exactly sure some of these. Uh, that's a crinoid head. Um, geodes, little geodes. Now, these, these guys have some color to them. And uh, you'll hear me every now and then make a reference to... Um, spraying with clear, clear acrylic spray. I have a specific type that I use that I like a lot, and I'll have to bring that can over and show you that another day. But uh, a few pieces in this whole grouping today will eventually get sprayed because they just, it preserves them and makes the color come out. So this jar was almost completely empty. Um, there was about, oh, about that much on the bottom of the jar that was full when I when I started loading it. This is all from yesterday when we were out hunting. And it's just incredible. It's just incredible. Pretty nifty stuff. So there you go. Stems, you might get frustrated and tired of them. All right, some geodes we found. Now, you'll see, this looks pretty good today because I sprayed it with water just before we started filming, as I did this. So, in the case of both of these, uh, and maybe even this one, I might spray them with acrylic because it seems, to, it seems to preserve the color and the look, which is what I want. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so, anyway, these were the ones we saved from the creek. Um, I'll have to make some decisions. If they go outside, I can't spray them because the weather patterns in the winter turn the acrylic spray cloudy. Um, okay, some matrixes that were pretty awesome. Uh, a few of these sparkle. They've got uh, crystal in them when you get down close to them. So they're pretty neat. Um, be patient with me. Here's the other one. And you can even see it, I think, if I do that. You see the sparkle that's happening, um, especially right in there. Got to get it just right in the light. But anyway, so in there on the edge, see it? So there you go on those. They're pretty nifty. Um, pieces I like, you know, really neat. This is probably uh, going to be a cool one. This is uh, going to be a fantasy piece. Now... It's not so much of a fantasy, quite frankly. This was found with this piece, right near this piece. So I looked at it, saw the indentation, and went, boom, you go there. That's where he's going to live. I like that, and that's a much better piece now. So I'll glue him eventually and get around to him. All right, so you find when you're out there the chunky stuff. Uh, these are the pieces of crinoid stems or, or coral stems. I'm not exactly sure which. Here's some flattened heads that are pretty nifty. This could be, I think it is one of those. This is my favorite one that we found. Look at the color in that. Beautiful, beautiful piece. That's a little tiny um, calyx, you know, very beautiful. Um, these wound up, you know, that's just a fantastic little shelf center piece. This might be from the last trip we did. I'm not exactly sure, but I like it a lot. This is uh, on display already. I brought it back out to show you. Little tiny guys. I love it when I find the little ones and they're 3D. This is like a 3D. You can actually feel all the roundness and the depth of it and the crunchiness. And I love that. So there you go. Uh, another one. Pretty nifty. I showed you that piece already. Here are a couple crunchy bits. Heads, I believe. Right there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we get to my favorite piece of the crinoid plates. Uh, of the small plates that I found. This was the very first piece we found that day. I think. Uh, so neat. Really nifty. Look at that right there. That's real cool. Real nice piece. All right. Now we're at the large matrix pieces. When we're out and about in Crinoid Creek area, and there are other creeks in the region that have these as well, but these are some of the buttes. Um, 
you'll find these and then you have to, <coughs> excuse me, ask yourself, are we carrying these back? Because sometimes you walk in a half mile or something into the woods or, and, and these things get quite heavy, but they are so beautiful and so amazing. And again, um, just to show you um, like this one, you'll notice the color come out in it right away. See it? This one as well. This one's even better for color. So what do you do? Well, you know, you have to decide. But in my case, this one would be sprayed. This one would be sprayed. These two are my favorite two of the, of the grouping of four. Um, these are just phenomenal. So I'll spray these. These will stay indoors. These will be shelf sitters probably in the new studio once we get that finished. Um, so anyway, we'll come here first. And I'll just walk you through a couple of these. these. These were found over different times over the last month as we would take walks on that creek. And they're just, they were breathtaking. I would say we left 20 or 30, maybe 40 of them in the creek. Uh, and I've been to other creeks, as I said, in road ditches where I found some that I left. So just amazing pieces. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through. I'm just going to show you one at a time here. To make it easy and quick, we took photos of all these close-ups, and we'll put them at the very end of this video. So here we go. So there's this one. That's an older piece. There's this one. That's an older piece. Um, I stand corrected. These these three are all, all found yesterday. Yeah, this was with the video. These were all three found yesterday. Okay, now we come to older pieces. So this piece, it's been sitting for about three weeks. I finally got around to cleaning it. I love this piece. And, you know, you're always going to find stuff on the back, too. The question then becomes, which do you do, back or front? And in the case of these, this one, the back is really boring, in my opinion. So that was an easy decision. And then, of course, you got this guy, which he's tough because he's really, really neat on both sides. But that one wins. This guy, uh, see that? Look at that guy. He's real neat. Uh, and lastly, we got this guy. Now, this guy isn't as, as cool and chunky as the rest of them, but he's cool in a different way. This, to me, is de most definitely the beach. 350 million year old beach. This is a sand dune area of beach. Things dried out, things washed up, things got filled in. And you can see, <clears throat> here's the shell, probably brachiopods. Here's two more down here. And in this one specifically, you can see how it just filled up inside the shell. All this crinoid sand uh, and crinoid segments and things just filled in, in top, inside that shell as it sat there. I love this one. I can even put my finger in it. Um... And get down in here, if you can, zoom in and see the texture on that. It's still there. The, even the, let me spray it. Even the color is still on it. So, this piece is awesome for a completely different uh, thing for me, personally, as a collector. This is what I imagine if I were walking on a beachfront back in the day. Five... Uh, you know, 400 million years uh, ago and five times the amount of time that passed w for dinosaurs, this is what it must have looked like when you were walking a beach along the ocean or along a, a, a reef. Amazing. Just to me, amazing. And the fact that I can touch it and feel the ridges and I love it. All right. Okay, so... I wanted you to see what happens when you walk along a creek and you start looking. You're going to find a lot of smalls. These are the chunky bits that you find that can be fascinating at times, and some of them do make great shelf sitters, you know, specifically a piece like that maybe, or this I would maybe put in a little tiny jewelry box display area on a shelf. Um, but what do you do with all the stuff when you find it? I separate it into those that go into glass jars like you saw earlier and those that go into display cases. You can pick up display cases just about anywhere. They run anywhere between $10 and $20 a piece for a display case like this. Um, eBay, 
uh, Amazon.com. You can even find them in local antique stores. Uh, that's where I got these, and I got them real, real cheap. So uh, about half, half 50% off. So there you go. This is the collection of things that I found over the last uh, 10 months. Um, just hunting, you know, wherever I go. And some of them came from uh, northern Indiana. Some of them came from central Indiana. Some of them came from southern Indiana. Most of them probably came from southern Indiana. Did they make wonderful those plays? Well, I thank you and hope you enjoyed all of this. Guys, if you did like the video, please, and uh, subscribe.